Oh my god, guys. I completely forgot. I'm so sorry. I thought it was Thursday. Does anybody else have that or is that just me that I just completely forget the days of the week? Today is Friday. It's VR Friday. Welcome to VR Friday. <laughs> it's not Thursday. <laughs> okay. Well, I had a very important video queued up for you guys for VR Friday, um, and since today is VR Friday, that's going to be today, because I'm uploading two videos today, because I messed up, so I need to deliver to you guys. So again, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. You guys are absolutely amazing. Even though I messed up on this for you guys, you guys are still subscribing and liking. So again, make sure to give it a like. It's not a lot of work for you guys and it helps me out a lot. Follow me on my social media here and here. Join our Discord, join our Reddit, and let's get in to today's video, to today's VR video. So today's video is going to be very important because I'm going to be answering some of the very most important questions that I have received on the video about increasing the resolution on the Oculus Quest. Now, I am not the official developer of that resolution mod. This is his name here. He did an absolutely insane, incredible job and it just works so damn well. So thank you, dude, you are amazing. But now it's time to answer a few questions because I received a few criticisms and I want to make sure that you guys know that I did think through everything I did and I did it for a reason. The the first thing that I was criticized about and the first thing that I was asked is why didn't I just increase the resolution through side quests since you can do that by using the cog icon in the top right. Yes, I know you can do that. But the thing is, once you do that, it resets every time you reset the quest and you have to plug in the quest every time you want to increase your resolution to the PC. That's not very ideal, especially if you don't have a PC with you. Let's say you're trying to watch like a high res movie on the plane or you're somewhere else and you don't have a computer nearby. While with this, it actually allows you to change the resolution on the fly just by using your Oculus Quest, which is absolutely amazing. That is one of the perks of this mod above using the side quest option in side quest. That is actually another thing people were asking me. Can you turn off the mod if you're not using it? Or can you change the resolution to a lower one? Yes, yes you can. The developer of this mod is absolutely insane and he made the apps appear in the Oculus TV software. So if you enter the Oculus TV software, you can actually change the resolution on the fly in there and you can also completely turn it off. Now, if you completely want to remove it, you could go about the way of resetting your quest, or you could just uninstall the apps, which is definitely the better way if you ask me. Another thing people were asking about is battery life and performance, and we'll get onto the performance in a sec because I'm going to play a few games for you guys. Battery life wise, I did multiple tests, and believe it or not, the battery life was only plus or minus five minutes. So I'm actually going to put that down as a minor difference, and I'm going to say that that's the result of calculation error on my end because plus or minus five minutes isn't enough for me to actually determine whether this mod kills battery life faster. Now, does the quest heat up a little bit faster? I'm actually not sure because I live in a pretty cold environment, so I've never actually had the quest heat up that much on me. Not only that, but it, my games also seem to be completely fine. Now, a few users down in the comment section have been telling me that when they use the mod, their games crash or they don't launch at all, which is very confusing to me because Every game I play works for me and it doesn't crash and it doesn't lag, which just confuses me completely because I don't know what the difference between my quest is and between their quest. If anybody has an answer for that, please let me know because I'm really interested on what the difference is here. Now let's move on to the performance because a lot of people were very, very interested to know what the performance of the Oculus Quest is in your favorite titles with the resolution mod installed. Now. I fully understand that this is a concern. So just before we move on to that, I just thought of another question that was asked quite a lot. If this is in fact possible, and if people are doing this, why did Oculus not do this by default? And does that mean that the Quest isn't running at its native resolution? Now, I don't know the full answer to this, but I'm going to say that it was probably for legal reasons. Now, this is the exact same scenario we have when Oculus didn't want to make the refresh rate of the screens in your Oculus Quest run at 90 hertz. They are capable of doing that, but Oculus didn't want to do it for legal reasons. So I'm going to say it's the same thing about the resolution, even though I don't fully understand why or how. So now let's move on to the titles. The very first game, of course, that I tried is my most played game, and that's Beat Saber. Beat Saber ran completely fine, was sharp as ever, and I didn't notice any lag. I also got a few other people to try it, and they also didn't notice a difference. In fact, I got my friend to play it, now that quarantine has been loosened, 
and he noticed the extra sharpness and said it looked amazing. And he didn't complain about any lag, and as you guys know, Beat Saber requires you to have very fast reaction times, which makes me think that if there was an issue with resolution and performance, it would be very noticeable in Beat Saber. Now, another game that a lot of people wanted me to try was VR Chat, because a lot of you, uh, for some reason, want to have the characters in higher resolution. What are you guys thinking about? <laughs> but yeah, again, I had absolutely no problems in VR Chat, and it looked sharp and crisp as ever. You could totally see those one polygon t and it just looked absolutely great. So if you guys are looking to sharpen up those booties in VR chat, this is definitely a great way to do so. Not that I recommend it. Another game that I tried was Job Simulator. Again, that's Job Simulator was a game that I've been playing for a very long time and it was one of the very first games I got for VR. So of course I was gonna try it. Plus a lot of people are actually still playing it. Again, it looks sharp as ever and had no performance issues. And as always, the quest didn't heat up or I didn't notice it heating up. But again, this could just be because I live in a cold environment. Ireland is a weird country. And of course, the very last game I I tried is probably the best game out for the quest right now, Echo VR. And this was also requested by quite a lot of people, and a lot of people were telling me that they're playing it with this mod, which instantly made me think that of course this is going to work. And I was right, Echo VR works on the resolution mod, no problems whatsoever, smooth, you can play and you can sharpen it up. So there you guys go. I. I really hope that this video answered all of your questions on the resolution mod. Because, again, uh, I received a lot of support. I know a lot of you are here for that mod. Even though I am uploading tech videos, a lot of you came from the resolution mod, and I want to thank you all so much for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying the tech content as much as you're enjoying the VR content, because I work really hard on that. And yeah, uh, I really hope I answered all of your questions. And if you guys have any more questions, make sure to put them down in the comment section below. As you can see, I read your comments. I respond to most of them. I do my best. And if I don't have an answer, I try to direct you to somebody that does. Uh, again, our Discord server is being extremely helpful. A lot of incredible people have joined and there's actually communication going on on the Discord server, which makes me really, really happy. That's actually where people reminded me that it is, in fact, VR Friday today and not Thursday. <laughs> I am so sorry for that, guys. I hope you can forgive me. So yeah, I really hope you guys can join the Discord server. I also would like to ask you guys to join Reddit because... I want to see you guys start posting things on Reddit so that I can start a series on reviewing it. I'm really hoping that this is the case and that we will have this happening. Um, I'm also happy to announce I will be showcasing your guys' art at the end of my videos now because a lot of people are posting their insane, incredible art in the Discord server and I'm so happy to see that all of you are so talented and posting these incredible pictures. So that's going to be showing up at the end of every video now. So please keep posting them. I really enjoy seeing them. I don't think I have any more announcements for this one. Uh, again, just really sorry for forgetting the days of the week. I really shouldn't be doing that at this point. I'm not. I, d I just don't think I've been sleeping well or something. Maybe maybe it's the mug. Maybe the mug is needs to be... I don't know. <laughs> So again, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. If you want to be notified of future content, which I upload daily, I upload tech videos every day and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. And hopefully I don't mess up my days of the week again. And if I do, please let me know. Follow me on my social media here and here because I really enjoy asking you guys what videos you want to see next. A lot of the future upcoming videos that are going to be coming up now are actually ideas that you guys gave me. So. I am listening, <laughs> and I am taking your answers into consideration when making these videos. Join our Discord, join our Reddit, and if you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to smash that bell icon with your forehead, join the 360p gang, and see you again in the next one. Peace.